today's episode is going to be a bit different. This is going to be from a series that I like to call Be a Good Neighbor. If you follow me on social, you'll see that I've done some posts along different topics of being neighborly. And I want to continue in this. This is actually going to be the first time I'm doing a full video on this topic of being neighborly. So here goes. Hello, fellow neighbors. I would love to hear your opinion on what you would do in this situation. My neighbor has an extremely large slash tall tree on his property line that hangs over half of my house. The limbs are scraping my roof and the debris is a complete nuisance and not to mention the amount of leaves that are clogging my gutters. It was a nightmare during the strong winds we recently had and I just had my roof replaced. I've lived in my home for 24 plus years. I tried to speak to the neighbor and ask him to do something about this. It did not go well. I was cursed out by him. He is unhinged and surely not all there in the head. What would you recommend in this situation? Thanks in advance. This is a great topic. It's a great post thing. This is something that is very useful from the site that I got it from, which is called nextdoor.com. If you're not familiar, it's almost like social media for your community. So you can go on there, you can post things like this. You can go on there and say, hey, I'm in need of a, a roofer or I'm, a ne I'm in need of a handyman. Who would you recommend? And you can communicate with people that way. The flip side to this is Nextdoor can also be a place where people just can voice their opinions, um, ask for things. It can, yeah, you definitely have that kind of activity on there and some posts, some comments, you could really be annoyed. But I find Nextdoor useful um, with staying in touch with what's going on in the neighborhood and for posts like this. Before we hop into the responses, if this is your first time here, thank you for tuning in. My name is Natasha Bazil. I am a realtor, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty in Georgia. I specialize in new construction, relocation, and working with home sellers. I actually had a closing today, so shout out to my client who purchased her home. I'm so happy for her. Um, she did buy a new construction home. We were under contract for almost a year. We started working together in May of 2023, and as of today's recording, it is April 30th, so it's it's almost a year. And it, it just happened to be the situation with the builder. You know, they release lots really, really early and they didn't start building till later on, but normally the process doesn't take that long. If you have any questions about new construction, if you're interested in relocating to Georgia, have general questions, be sure to check out my free Georgia Relocation Starter Guide. The link will be right here. And you can also schedule some time with me on my Calendly to discuss your real estate needs. So let's go ahead and get into these responses. I thought there were a lot of good responses. And if you're experiencing something like this with a neighbor, whether it's uh, regarding a tree or something else, I think you can get some gems from the responses. So let's check them out. So the first one said, good afternoon. I have someone come out and trim up everything on my side and hanging over my roof. Is he going to pay for the gutters to be clean? or the problems that stem from clogged gutters, legally, you can have anything on your side of your property limbed up or cut. Next one. Since your neighbor is being so unneighborly, I would have the part of the tree on my side of the property line cut and removed. No need to consult or warn him. You already tried that. So stay tuned for some other comments because I think they give a little, you know, a little more, a little better advice. The next one, yep. Because my past experience with insurance, any damage of your property by the tree will be your responsibility, even if the tree is based in his yard. That's a gem, something to keep in mind. So I totally get why you just can't let this go. It's affecting you and could really cost you big money down the line. Next up, suggest that you call in a tree trimmer and the two of you split the cost. That sounds good, but remember, he's unreasonable. We had a similar situation with our neighbor regarding a fence he had put up and was over 20 feet onto our property. First, we live in Walton County, so they're just trying to preface you for what you're about to hear. Um, after helping my neighbor get his cows back in the yard, animal control told us to call code enforcement. So we did. They tell us that's not their department slash agency and that we were going to have to work this out between us and the neighbor. I wrote three certified letters, even had an early morning face-to-face -face meeting with the neighbor, gave him extra time allowed in the last certified letter, which we sent, mind you, 
They never signed for it and he knew about them. I gave him an extra 30 days to move his fence after the final letter, made it clear to him if he did not move his fence, we were going to move forward with our fence while tearing his down. Okay, he did move his fence. We all have land here where we live, but we still speak. Okay, so that worked out well. Like, why didn't he just respond to the initial letter? But thankfully, they were able to come to a resolution and they still have, you know, some sort of relationship. Like, you don't have to be best friends with your neighbor, but you want to be cordial. Thank God I've always been blessed with great neighbors. Like, we're pulling in each other's garbages. Um, if one goes out of town, we let the other one know. And not just the people next door, like a couple houses down. So that's a blessing. I know everybody's not like that, though, but... Yes, I'm praying you all have good neighbors. All right, the next one. You can legally cut parts of the tree that are hanging over your property line. We already had that one. You can legally have a tree service come in and trim all of the branches that are over your property line. Same thing, but they included a link to a tree service. I'd write a letter to him and suggest you both pay half to get it cut down. Give him so many days to respond. If he doesn't, then I will cut everything away from my house. So pretty in line with what we've been seeing. Send him a certified letter with signature that his tree is a hazard to your home and needs to be removed or trimmed. If anything happens, his insurance will be 100% liable. And this is why you have to vet the information that you get because somebody else that said they were insurance said that if something happens to your property, you are going to be responsible regardless if the tree was on his land. This person is coming in and saying that if anything happens, his insurance would be 100% liable. I was gonna say reach out to your insurance person, but, but hold on there because I shared a lender's video the other day. So check out my social media account. Her name is Tara with Fairway Mortgage. And she was basically advising or sharing that, hey, you don't wanna call your insurance company for everything to check because that actually counts in your record. And I said it counts as dings because I've had that personally happen where I called in to see if I can get a roof because I saw all my neighbors were getting roofs and I didn't get the roof, but it came up later on that I even made the call. So maybe not call your insurance person, but maybe call an insurance person like in the area. Just, just be careful with that one. Next up, as a last resort, due diligence and courtesy, perhaps consider sending him a certified letter of your intention since he doesn't communicate. All right, we already got that one. If in an HOA community, they might be able to intervene or offer some suggestions or be your mediator. That is a good one if you have an HOA that is active. Active and willing to intervene, but it doesn't hurt to ask. This next one says, any encroachment on your property by a neighbor's tree afford you the right to remove that portion of the tree. You need not permission from the other property owner. However, all costs associated are bore by you. Next one, you have the right to cut any of it that is hanging over your property. So trim that portion to his property line and there's nothing he can do about it. Next one, I didn't have your situation, but when I first purchased my home, the neighbor to the right of my house had a huge oak tree when I first moved. It had huge branches that extended over my driveway, my side of the yard, and a portion of my roof over my garage. I had all those branches removed. I did, didn't ask not to be rude, just to protect my property from the damage and I would have to pay for act of nature if a storm came. So she said she did not ask. I I do agree that I'm I'm of the thought that you want to try to communicate with your, with, with your neighbor, at least talk to them about it. If the communication isn't one, I like the idea of the certified letter and there's another recommendation in here where I'm like, yeah, that's good, add that one in. So let's get to it. So this one says, absolutely cut back any touching your roof, etc. Next, legally and for insurance reasons, write a letter making them aware of the tree and imminent threat to your property, and he will be liable. It might be best to pay a real estate attorney to draft this and send it to them, but make sure it is certified mail. Next one, by law, you can cut it on your side and I will certainly get their limbs off of your roof. You don't need his permission. This is it. Be sure to take pictures before you start sawing limbs. So I do like the idea of taking pictures and just see why, because you don't know what comes down the line. Next one. I agree with what others said. Take lots of pictures before and after just to cover yourself, especially if you have a nasty person next to you. In this case, I would notify the sheriff's office, then call out a crew, cut and trim. Let the police know of the date and time of the crew's arrival in case of the upcoming altercation that's going to occur. Those limbs getting cut, whether your neighbor likes it or not, end of story, 
stop the press, done. <laughs> So I think somebody asked like, why are we calling the police? And I'm gonna say he responded and said, that process is just in case your neighbor gets a little crazy and tries to run the crew off with a firearm and tell the police you try multiple times talking to the neighbor with no success, that will make it look bad on your neighbor's part. I haven't read the other comments, but I am a tree climber myself, but the part of the tree that overhangs a property line you own, draw an imaginary line just straight up and down at the property line you own every bit of that tree that comes on your side. If it is a dead tree and it is something that you are concerned about, you have a written notice. You, I, he might be saying you have to give a written notice to your neighbor and they have the written acknowledgement in case the tree were to fall across the property line and hit your home or damage the property anyway. At that point, since there was a written notice and acknowledgement of the concerned tree, it can be their responsibility at the time to have it cleaned up or make repairs on your property. If you do not have the written notice, it is your responsibility, no matter if it falls from your neighbor's house um, onto your property. But it can only be a tree that is visibly damaged, uprooting or dead. Healthy trees cannot fall into this category. See, that's, that's different advice that you're getting. Here's another. Whatever part of the tree that does come over onto your property that you own, you can definitely pay a company to come out and trim all of that part of the tree. Let's say you go with that option. At least then all the weight of the tree will be on the neighbor side that gave you all the problems and cussed you out. Therefore, due to any high extreme winds and anything such as the tree falling in his direction, not yours, at least the weight of the tree would not be in your favor any longer and solve the problem with having debris fall on your roof. Even if the base of the tree is on the property, you can still legally pay a business to remove the limbs you are um, concerned about. And at that point, the company has 100% access to the property only for work to be performed in the tree. It doesn't matter if they were to run off the tree crew uh, legally. It doesn't matter if they try to run off the tree crew legally, they can't. When you send a letter, just respectfully tell them that you will be hiring a professional company to come remove the part of the tree that overhangs on your property and expect the company to need access to their property to be able to climb up the tree. They can't tell you no. If they cause problems after giving them written notice about the concerns with the tree, at that point, you can call the police department or county sheriff to assist. Some people are very hard headed and don't respect their neighbors. If this is the case, uh, then having a lawful, having the law involved will be helpful in this situation. I know all this because I've been the tree company working on these types of trees with neighbors that are basically at odds with each other. Every single time the situation has happened, the law has ended up showing up and we still perform the tree work legally. Thank you. That was a really good one. Okay, so that's that's all that I have. What are your thoughts there? So for me, I would say the takeaways are one, first talking to your neighbor. Please let that be number one. Do not see your neighbor. Hopefully you do the the, way, the neighborly wave when you do see them, but don't let the first time they're hearing about it is with a certified letter. Cause I feel way, like you see me, like just, just say something. So let's try talking to them. Um, if talking doesn't work or you know, they're not moving quick enough, then I would send a certified letter. I would also take pictures before any work is done to, to cover my, you know, CYA. And yeah, hopefully that would solve it. Hopefully by talking about it, that would solve it. But I'm gonna let y'all in on a little something about me. One of my favorite things to watch, my guilty pleasure is, is court TV. So I have seen things like this come up on court TV. I do not want you to end there. And then also, you know, this is what I do. I want you to be happy in your home, be happy in your community, in your neighborhood. And nobody wants to be in their house and be at odds with the neighbor. So if you're in a situation like that, God bless you. Like if you are in a situation like that and you're like, I don't know how much longer I'd be able to do this, go ahead and call me so I can find you your next home. <laughs> But seriously, if you um, have additional thoughts about this, please leave them down below. If you've ever been in a situation like this, whether it has to do with a tree or something else or some something with a neighbor, please go ahead and share what you share could help somebody else. Thank you for watching. Let me know if you like this type of video. If I could bring you other topics related to this, please give this video a thumbs up. Drop me a comment. Um, let me know that you like the video. And then also don't forget to check out the podcast. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out here. Thank you for watching. I will see you in next week's video. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day.